Hello folks, it's Ishii here again. It's been a long time. Um, I'm trying to record on my iPad since I'm doing something that's not a pipe video. Um, I order some stuff from this company called Proclip. It's a mount for uh, phones. Um, I don't know, you probably, many of you have iPhone 4. Um, I have a case called LifeProof. Um, I'll put a link on it later. Um, it's a waterproof case. And as you can tell, it's a lot thinner than a lot of cases. And the problem is, a lot of the mounts, it doesn't fit. So, I was looking around and trying to figure out a where to, where will be the best place. And it seems like all the reviews I read, and a lot of recommendation was ProClip. And I looked into it, and what you do is you buy a mount bracket that goes on your car. One second here. Um, it basically fits on, well you can't really see it. I can't flip the camera right now, I don't know why. But yeah, so it fits right onto that AC vent. And that's one bracket that you buy, which is like $30, $40. And then, you buy another bracket, which I can't get it out, is this, which is the holder for the phone itself. I'm going to change, put the camera on my lap real slick in here. Um, the cool thing about this case is that, I don't know if you can see it, but there's two, four bolts on the corners. And what you can do is, let me show you, loosen it up. I'm outside and my neighbors are probably thinking, what in the world am I doing talking to myself? And this is made specifically for a car. And I drive a 200 and, no, 200, 2009 um, Highlander. So this is for, um, this bracket is made specifically for a model car. So... Um, this basically goes on like this onto the vent and you mount this on top of it and you can change the angle and whatnot. Um, so I loosen the bolts in the four corners and what happens is you can and I don't know if you can see it let me try to get it these grooves here is for the phone to slide in so it gives you can do is kind of pinch it yourself manually and adjust to the size of the case you want or you have um, thickness wise it doesn't do good um, I have OtterBox Defender as well the OtterBox Defender was not doing a great job only thing it was doing was collecting you know, pulling my pocket out, my dress pants and all that stuff. So I tried uh, life proof. This is a waterproof case, and you actually get, you know, you can put in the water, and for eight feet, I believe, it's okay. Uh, anyways, so you tighten the bolts, and now the case slides in and out. And this mounts onto these holes on it and then these holes back here and it comes with the screws that you can bolt on and another thing is these are like a 3M adhesive tapes that you can put on I from some people that I you know some forums that I read some people are not using it and it's holding up so I'm gonna try not using it and if it doesn't hold up then I'll probably use it but yeah um, I'm going to try to install this, and I'll get back. See ya. Alright, as you can tell, I just got that part installed. Um, sorry. This is a piece that you get, basically, to wedge, open up the gap, and when you slide it in, and then when you take the top part here, pop that open, it slides in quite well, snaps in 
pretty tight. Um, this is without the 3M tape. Since I know how to take this uh, piece off, if it keeps on sliding and whatnot, I'll just use the 3M tape as well. Alright, I'm going to try to get the next piece on. One thing I have to do is, in the center there's a screw, I have to take that off so this back piece can be screwed onto that piece. Before I keep going, I thought I'll show, um, when you loosen this back piece, as you can tell, it's uh, kind of like a bearing here. So you can attach it, and if you don't want to mount it straight on, you can, you know, mount it horizontally, which I kind of been thinking about doing. I don't know yet. Um, I can always loosen it up and, you know, try it out. So, yeah, um, it's pretty good, solid piece. Um, I'm just trying not to lose the pieces in the car. And I'm going to try to take this apart right now. But I don't should I should be taping it so I'm going to turn it off for now. So that's what it looks like installed. Um slide it off. It covers up the vent. But I really don't mind since I don't like air hitting my face anyway. So, here's the cord that's attached to my case, life proof. It's, as I said, it's a waterproof case, so. And here's the audio cable. Just put it to the side. I just can't see because I have my iPad in front of my face. It slides on like that. And the reason why I like this case is that there's a flap right there. Open it up. And the cable goes right there. There you have it. I'll let you know how much I like it. I don't know how I like it so far, but yep. So that's my video for now. Next time around... I'll probably do a uh, new pipe, mm, new tobacco video, since I did get, uh, I'm starting to get tired of aromatics, so I'm thinking about going back to some more spicier blends, so if you have any suggestions or something, post it up, I want to try it out, alright, have a good one.